the fall of a giant. What's happening to Cisco? Is this the start of Cisco's downfall? Once the Goliath of networking, Cisco has just been dropped out of the leader's quadrant. Looks like they finally suffered a real network outage, this time in market leadership. In this video, we will compare the Magic Quadrant's result for Cisco in 2023, 2024, and 2025. Yeah, let's analyze. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location like Nice Video Dean from East Timor, Armenia, Lebanon. But if you are in large country, please also mention your city, like from London, Phoenix, Berlin, etc. <laughs> In 2023, there is a Gartner Peer Insights, voice of the customer, for enterprise wired and wireless LAN infrastructure. And when you say wired and wireless infrastructure, this is not related to next generation firewalls, SD-WAN, data center networking, voice and video, etc. Just purely enterprise switching and wireless networks. So let's look at the result. Under Customer Choice Block, we have Arista Networks, Xtreme Networks, Fortinet, HP Aruba, and Huawei. I believe this is not in order by customer preference or by points. It is arranged in alphabetical order. Yeah, take a second look. Cisco is not in the list in the Customer Choice Block. So where are they? They are in Established Block. So, what does it mean? It just means that customers are really not impressed with the support and or quality of Cisco's products and solutions. And for Arista, Extreme Networks, Fortinet, HP, and Huawei, is this even accurate? I don't know. But what's interesting for me is Fortinet. Yes, Fortinet has switches, wireless access points, etc. I've seen it. Do I like it? Let's just say I don't think it's the best solution. They have limited features and their CLI syntax is quite annoying. Was this a big deal a couple of years ago? Not really. Until 2025 Magic Quadrant results. Before we talk about 2025 Magic Quadrant in Ward and Wireless Network Infrastructure, let's take a look first at 2024. Ooh, so where is Cisco? They're still in the leader's quadrant, but at the bottom, meaning they are at the edge. They're struggling to maintain their dominance in the market. It was still good though. Leadership Quadrant is still Leadership Quadrant. Fortinet is this close to Cisco and Extreme Networks has a better spot. We know the likes of Fortinet, Extreme, and Huawei, they're not as expensive as Cisco. Does this report has anything to do with pricing and or ROI? What do you think? Because as you see, Juniper solutions are as expensive as Cisco but they are at the top. 2025 Magic Quadrants Data Center Switching. Now we're talking. Cisco is still here. Juniper and Huawei too. Arista Networks has always been on the top spot when it comes to data center networking. I'm not really sure with Juniper and Huawei as I haven't met a single person who is proud and talks about how good Juniper and Huawei SDN solutions are. Fine. Actually, I know some people or few people who really likes Juniper Abstra more than Cisco ACI, but I don't think it's as good as Arista Cloud Vision. Well, you tell me, but this list or this research record, I think it's fair. I think it's a little more accurate. Although Huawei spot is questionable. 2025 Magic Quadrant Ward and Wireless Infrastructure. This is it. This is a big news. Cisco moved down into the Challenger Quadrant, 
marking the very first time Cisco has dropped out of leaders since Magic Quadrant reporting began. Looks like Cisco took their wireless strategy a bit too literally. Now, they're wirelessly floating out of the leader's box. I think this has something to do with their SDA and DNA Center licensing and solutions. Who really used those piece of garbage? 2025 is the year Cisco learned that DNA licenses don't buy you love or leader badge. I'm just kidding, guys. But going back to Fortinet, they're still in leader's quadrant. Yeah, they beat Cisco. But do you genuinely believe that for the Switch and 40 APs, overall a better solution than Cisco Catalyst, Cisco WLC, and Meraki? Because I don't know anyone who really into 40 net switches and 40 net wireless. I don't know anyone who personally recommend 40 switch, 40 APs. Sure, it works. Sure, it has a good pricing and maybe satisfy your network requirements. But Leaders Quadrant means that the company has innovative solutions, strong R&D and product roadmap, and has top quality and performance. If the network operating system is too buggy, that is nowhere near top quality. That is nowhere near top performance. I am pretty sure either or both Arista and or Cisco switches and access points are pound for pound better than 40 switch and 40 APs. If you're gonna ask me, I would not use Gartner as a single source of truth. We don't know what's really going on. Some people say they are biased. Some people say there is a corruption. But me personally, I don't think Gardner always have enough data. Therefore, it's not always accurate. Sure, you can look at it, but you also have to compare or consider other research reports. You also need to attend some technical seminars or tech events. Try the solution yourself and ask those people who have tried and tested their products. 